Hi, what's up? Welcome back to another video. My name's Lauren. If you're new here, it's 12 o'clock. I am about to cook breakfast and I think I'm gonna make another cup of coffee. I made coffee this morning and the new oat milk that I got last week, if you've seen my last vlog, it seemed better for you. I did a little bit of research on oat milks and this was one of the best ones that I could find. I got it, but it doesn't froth. So I literally Googled this morning and it said that there isn't a high protein amount in oat milk. So that's why it doesn't froth well, like the proteins Protein is one of the things that holds the small bubbles together and that way we get perfect microfoam. So it's because there's like a low protein amount in oat milk. So um, I'm gonna maybe try the barista edition oat milk because people say that it frosts really well because it's a barista edition so it's meant to be frothed. So I'm gonna try that next. And if I don't like it, then I'm going back to my tried and true Oatly because it truly is the best. I'm cooking breakfast now and I'm going to make some bacon. So I'm just going to preheat my oven to get that ready and then I'll start cooking the rest of it. Um, but let me show you. See, it didn't froth it at all. Oh, I haven't been drinking out of this mug with a straw, which is weird. Um, I usually drink with a little, I think these are cocktail straws. I got them off of Amazon. They're always linked in my Amazon shop, I believe. I'll double check, but before this video is up, they, they will be there if they're not there. Um, but they're like the best things for little coffee mugs, but I love glass straws. I used to use metal straws, but I don't really like metal straws because you can't see if they mold or get dirty on the inside so that's what i like about glass straws mainly because you can see if they're clean and um there's nothing like molding or hiding and you can see it right away if there is um i'm actually about to order outdoor furniture for our small little balcony um we've been living here for july august september october november five months almost and um we don't have any balcony furniture, but we do have a really small balcony. But I'm so excited to have outdoor furniture because I love sitting outside in the mornings, in the evenings, all times of day. But I do live in Florida, so it can be hot sometimes. But we're about to get into this nice 70 degree weather, perfect weather to sit outside. So perfect time to order some outdoor furniture. I am ordering it right now but um, I will show you it when it comes in and I'm super excited to finally have it. Okay, so I'm waiting for the bacon to cook a little bit so that way I can start the rest of breakfast and have bacon on the sandwich. I'll show you obviously what I'm making, but um, I did wanna ask, I did order stuff on the Sephora sale and I did think about showing what I got but I'm also hesitant because I don't want anyone to ever feel like worse when they watch my videos or come on my channel during this time I have been trying my best to show things that I'm purchasing that are very budget friendly and I don't want anyone to ever feel like they feel left out because budgets are tight right now, um, because of COVID, people lost their jobs, everything that's going on in the world. And I just don't want to show like, oh my God, look at what I got from Sephora. I don't want people to feel bad because they couldn't um, make a purchase from the Sephora sale because of everything that has been going on this year. I've been posting more about things that are inexpensive, um, nothing too expensive because I obviously care about your guys's feelings I guess let me know if you want me to show some of the stuff that I got from Sephora some of my staple stuff that truly I am constantly repurchasing I would love to show you guys that if you're interested but definitely let me know because I do care about how you guys as my viewers feel when you come on my channel because not everyone can go out and buy stuff from Sephora right now because of COVID. I just want to be respectful of people and 
their situations but just let me know if you want to see what I got from Sephora some some, some stuff I could show like three of my top items that I am continuously ordering from Sephora um, every year or every so often every time I run out I always repurchase so I will gladly show that okay this is the best way to make breakfast sandwiches so where the, like the bread is toasty on one side so I just put butter down on the pan side of the bread um, and I know they're like kind of shoved in here because I'm cooking two sandwiches at once but I just use this butter on one side and then I cook the egg in a small pan and I make it, I scram, scramble it, but what I do is I make it more into like a scramble patty. I will show you guys how I do it. I'm just going to put a slice of cheese on the bread so that way it can melt a little bit. Okay, so I just put the cheese on it. So you basically whisk the eggs together like you're going to scramble them and then I take something like this and then what I'm gonna do is check and see if it's ready to kind of like make almost into an omelet style and it was and then I'm gonna get another like a spatula and then what I'm gonna do is basically flip it like that so you kind of want to make it into I guess an omelet you don't want to overcook it you still want the eggs to be like fluffy without being liquidy and then lastly what i do is i kind of like take off the edges a little and i'll flip this like a few more times okay that looks good and then i just put it on and it fits literally perfectly and then i'll take bacon and put it on that as well so i added some avocado on mine and then everything but the bagel seasoning and this is what it looks like it's so good and the bread gets super nice and crispy because you put it on a pan with butter and it just tastes so good we make this basically every single weekend it's so yummy so i just got back from ulta i'm going to show you what i got I didn't have the lotion that I usually use, so I got this one. Um, I liked how it has vitamin C in it. I also liked how it was for dry to very dry skin because <laughs> winter is upon us and I obviously want all the help I can get. And it was buy one, get one 50% off. So I just went ahead and got two of them. Um, this is my absolute favorite hairspray it lasts so long it's i think it's 15 dollars. yeah it's 14.99 for this size but if you get it out of ulta you can use the 350 off 15 dollars or more of your purchase so you can get it for a little discount if you get it out of ulta and use that coupon i get the extra strong hold and it disappears at the stroke of a brush so i really like that about it because if you spray too much, you could just brush it out. This is my favorite eyebrow pencil. It's only $5. I think it's super comparable to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is my fourth one. I love it. I get it in the color Latte. Super, super good, and you can't beat $5. This is my favorite mascara. This is under $10. Really, really, really good. And then you can never go wrong with always just picking up another makeup sponge so i just got this real techniques one yeah that's my little old hole it is so much later i think it's 7 30. okay these black ones they look like this or do you think I should wear these? We just got ready for dinner. We're going to a Mexican restaurant that's around here. This top was given to me by Maya. So Maya, if you remember where you got this top, please comment it down below and I'll pin it. I'm just wearing a Goldie jeans. These fit so well. And then these booties from Bloomingdale's from a really, really long time ago. And then my... Big hoop earrings are the best hoop earrings that I own. They're 
$12 from Amazon and they're not heavy at all they're actually hollow and then these second earrings that drape into the inside of my ear and drape down are um, lily clasp and then these are my favorite Amazon earrings that I just mentioned not too long ago also linked in my Amazon shop It's the next day. I'm just sitting here editing a video. These cups are amazing. I love them and they're easy to hold because they have that little ridge in them. So I'm going to sit here, edit my video, and drink my coffee and then I'll probably get ready. I'm about to, I was cleaning and I, I posted a YouTube video this morning. I was editing it all morning and um, I posted it and it's the one where we made sangria and pizza. It was like a Friday night in my life vlog. So that's up. So check it out if you haven't checked it out already. So for dinner, let me grab it out of the... So I'm gonna prep some chicken for dinner. I have these thin boneless skinless chicken breast and I'm gonna marinate them in this teriyaki sauce so I'm gonna marinate them for probably a few hours because it's 2 30 and we probably won't eat till like 7 30. I haven't honestly tried it before we'll see how it goes I'll definitely let you know if this chicken recipe is good I'm in the car now. I am going to Publix. Thanksgiving is this coming week. I'm bringing gluten-free, dairy-free banana bread that I make all the time. I just have like a really short list. I have a lot of the ingredients already. And then I'm getting ground turkey because I'm meal prepping tonight for my lunches for the week. Um, even though I go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I still like to have my usual lunch meal prep. I have shown it on my channel before, like what I meal prep and what I bring to work. But I figured why not just show again, it's been a little bit. Okay, I'm about to start, well I'm starting to cook my lunches for the week and I just, this is what I take and I'll obviously show you what it looks like in the end. But I bring broccoli, I air fry it, it's really good in the air fryer. Uh, jasmine rice. About to cook this ground turkey and then I add like a, a quarter of this taco seasoning packet. seven o'clock I've had the chicken marinating since 2 30 in this we got it from Trader Joe's last weekend we've never tried it before but I will keep you updated on how it is so these are just thinly sliced chicken breasts I'm gonna put them on a pan and cook them at 375 okay this is what it looks like I just added some more sesame seeds to on top of the chicken and I will let you know how it is I'm sitting on the floor of my closet. I just wanted to end off this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.